Hi there, my name is John Reed, my life plan is Electric Flight, and uh, I'm the Senior West Coast Editor. And this month I got the fun job of trying out this brand new radio from Spectrum. It's a DX18, but it's a special series. It's a DX18QQ, and it's a KeyK Signature Series radio. This is going to be produced in limited numbers, and it has all the features that the DX18 comes with, but it has many more, and a lot of them are convenience features. Uh, one such feature is that from your main screen you can just roll the thumb dial and you go to all the different screens. You get a servo monitor and you also have a telemetry screen if you have telemetry hooked up to the plane. So this allows you to quickly go between there. One of the things the DX18QQ has on it is that it's just like the 18, all the switches and everything are in the same location, but it is a little bit nicer. They have uh, this brushed chrome here instead of it being the shiny chrome, it's sort of a black meta metallic type chrome. And then all of the toggle switches uh, have foam rubber protectors on it, so it ma makes it so your fingers don't slip off and it's comfortable to use. Uh, the radio on the back also has some nice thick foam rubber cushions for your finger grips, non-slip, really is a well thought out radio. One of the other advantages of this radio is that you can go from the uh, function menu to the system setup menu without having to turn the radio off and turn it back on, which a lot of pilots, you know, it was kind of a pain and it took a little bit. Right now you can just jump between screens back and forth. When you go to the systems menu, it automatically shuts off the frequency so there's no frequency going to the aircraft. So another feature on this radio that you would imagine KK would want is any programming mixing that you have to do in it. When you get 10% uh, or less, it breaks down into half stop increments. So you have 10, 9.5, 9, 8.5, so on and so forth. So it allows you to really refine your mixes. So once you get the, the plane set up, you can really refine your programming mixing in here. Another feature on this is that it allows you to use a six server wing, which is good for people who fly 40 percenters out there, or somebody who has a very large uh, scale aircraft. You can hook all of them up and manage all of them through the receiver. You don't have to break them down and try to get extra peripheral things on there to make it work. So really a good feature. And nice thing, especially when you're somebody like me who's trying this thing out inside the house and testing it all out, is that you can control all the sounds on this radio. So you can add sounds to certain keys or add sounds to different things. Uh, you have full control over how much sound comes from this. You can make it completely mute so that when you're practicing with it, you just don't drive your wife or your coworkers crazy while you're setting up a radio is that it has a prop pitch curve in it. So those of you who fly 3D and like variable pitch props, this thing has that pitch curve set up for you so that you can put it in there. Uh, really a fun radio, of course, you know, it's pretty high-end radio for a foamy that most of the time we use a variable pitch prop on, but it's still a very cool radio. Last thing, if you're really looking for a special radio, and you want to put it on your Christmas list maybe. Uh, this is the radio to get limited number production, the DX18QQ KK Samanzini Signature Series radio. Only going to be 2,000 of them. Odds of you running into the same guy with another one? Depends on how big your field is. <laughs>